Oh. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? <laughs> it's your boy Nick here from How to Speak American. Hi, everyone. I'm Cindy. I'm Taiwanese girl. I forgot how to say it. It's so difficult. I'm a bit nervous. Okay, let's From the top. <laughs> so, in a little bit, we're going to talk about Cindy's boutique and then also her experience learning English and what advice she can give to you guys to improve your English skills. That's coming right up. So you may be wondering why I'm here in Seoul. Wait, why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually here on vacation. I ran into my friend Cindy and I just couldn't pass up the opportunity to do a quick interview with her and show you guys a little bit more about what it's like to be learning English and running your own business. And what's the name of your shop? Duo. Duo Boutique. D-U-A-L. What was it like to learn English? Why, why did you need to learn it? When I was a graduate student, um, my major was Japanese. And after that, I worked for a Japanese company. And, oh. and at that time, I also went to language school for improve my uh, poor English. <laughs> <laughs> no, but as you can see, your English is much better now. And something you guys can aspire to. Do you feel like uh, your Chinese or your head came up. Do you think your English really improved after living in the US? Or would you recommend people do that too? The environment is important. I went to party every weekend. <laughs> 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 because I, I, I'm yeah. kind of afraid of talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, talking to people and I was shy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not I was not talkative person. Mm -hmm. So I try to make myself tipsy and talk. That's my my tip. So the takeaway from that is just get a little drunk mm -hmm. because then you're not worried and then you can just start talking to other people. It'll help you uh, open up and loosen up and relax. Which, yeah, but we all want to hurt her mom. And speaking uh, English only in US. Mm, that's another good one. Find what works for you and then continue to do that. So like for instance, if I'm learning a new language, I like to watch funny movies and TV shows. So I do that a lot. Some people like to do language exchange. It doesn't matter. It's just whatever you like doing, you should do it because that's how you will learn. Yes, yes, exactly. And get tipsy too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that's difficult about learning English that you find still? So I think the most difficult thing for me is idiom. Oh. Yeah, Chen Yu. Kind of, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's where I come in. <laughs> yes. So because, we need you. <laughs> yes, because I teach colloquial English. I think this is difficult for everyone, mm -hmm. but again, the more you hear them, the more you try to use them more you will begin to understand them. So anyway, let's talk about more about your clothing boutique. You said the, the name Duel? Yeah, Duel. Implies that for a working woman, she has two different lives? Or yes. One? Okay. Yeah. Weekday, you are a working woman, and so you need to dress up like a professional. Mm -hmm. After work, you hang out with your friend, your party, yeah. you go drinking. Yeah. So uh, you can have a more like casual style. I think online shop is helpful for a monk because as a monk you are really busy. You don't have time to yes. go out and shopping. Exactly, yeah. So yes. it's hard to go to a brick and mortar location. Mm -hmm. I always tell my customer to text me. I would tell you what kind of uh, style, what kind of cutting is suitable for you. Mm, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's like a Fuzhuang yeah. Zhao Personal clothing consultant online. So you don't even have to leave your living room. What uh what are you wearing right now? Is it from oh, a special uh, collection? This dress size from S to L. Most of uh women they care about their like uh, 
arm, mm -hmm. okay. shoulder, or and the belly, xiao <laughs> fu. <laughs> so this dress is like high waist. Uh, high, high waist. Oh, high, high waist. waist. Yeah. yeah. And make the balance look better, mm. like taller. And this uh, sleeve mm -hmm. is puff sleeve, so you can hide your fat arm. <laughs> Dan Long Xiao. Dan Long Xiao. Okay, Dan Long Xiao. Wow, that's something new every day. <laughs> the color is white, so I put some um, brown mm, on it's... my head yeah. and shoes. It's a shoes. Yeah, this kind of shoes. We get to show them. Those hand in hand with this. Uh, Obviously, I have a lot to learn too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is for later. It will will be in your shop. Will you be able to buy it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, on my online shop. Also post Cindy's information in the description. Yeah. And then you can feel free to contact her if you're interested in her clothes. Oh, I want to talk about fast fashion. What is fast fashion? Like H&M um, or Forever 21. This is what I want to talk about fast fashion. 就是因为像现在有很多像 H&M Forever 21，然后Uniqlo这种快时尚的店，他们每周都一直在呃有新款上上架这样，每周四。那为什么呢？因为他们想要制造更多的业绩，所以他们就是用款式新的款式 New New Items，然后去吸引呃客人来买买商品这样。但是其实这一个问题造成呢。地球很大的伤害是因为你在每周都上新品的同时所以那些plastic就回到我们的身体里面 oh, You're ensured that you're always getting clothes that are environmentally conscious Thank, Thank you. you for sharing yeah. Thank you guys Thanks Cindy Alright well, hope you guys enjoyed See you next time See you